Hello Frakamas here. Today we're doing a story time. It's not going to be a review and at the end we're going to be doing a giveaway. Now this story is about a positive or refreshing experience that I had with a brand owner compared or contrasted with what I've experienced in the past. It's actually refreshing to see a story or experience a story like that and I'm looking forward to what your experience has been if you've been um, into that situation before. Um, I would like to hear what you have to say. Now the brand that I'm talking about is uh, Noble Royale. A couple of months ago, I was ordering stuff from Javoy Paris, the now shipped to the US. And I was looking at samples and I decided to grab a couple of random samples of houses that I've never heard of. And Noble Royale was one of the houses. I ended up looking at the five uh, offerings and I uh, picked only three samples where the notes appealed to me. And fast forward a couple of weeks after the purchase, I received it. And I did an overview on the house that wasn't overly positive either because most of the fragrances, although they were strongly linked with the uh, brand image that they were trying to portray, Noble Royale, refined, elegant, uh, really pleasant, nothing there in there, I found them to be a little bit too safe for me. At the point of my journey, I'm looking for something that is daring, artsy, and stuff like that. So most of them didn't appeal to me. And I did mention that in the overview, the, there's one fragrance that I found interesting that was called Tobacco Dynasty, but then I did find that similar, somewhat in the same genre, but not clones to Tobacco Vanille. And at that point, I didn't want to have to sell my Tobacco Vanille and then get this one. It was just a lot of work, so I decided to pass on that. But I did mention in the overview that I was going to do a full review on Tobacco Dynasty because I thought it would be interesting for people, actually, that are still looking um, at either buying Tobacco Vanille or Harris from, from Perfumes of Marley to actually consider to Tobacco Dynasty as a, a sound um, option there too. Um, and I ended the video by saying that I don't find anything interesting in the house. Now fast forward to a couple of weeks, I think it was Exxon's week, I received uh, an Instagram message from the owner because I recognized the name because I did a research on the company and I included an overview. Um, the owner is called Olga Yushchenko. And I was like, oh shit, <laughs> is she going to go after me? So just to cut here and then go to my previous experience that wasn't fun of, that kind of turned me away from that house. Uh, when I was still on Facebook, I did witness somebody posting about a brand that they didn't like. They were polite about it. They just mentioned that they didn't like a couple of the fragrances that they tried from the house. It happens that the owner was there and then the owner went after that guy. And I kind of felt bad for the guy, but also the owner kind of turned me off from the brand, um, seeing the owner kind of being annoyed and then going after this guy in public and stuff like that instead of either messaging him or just staying away from it. Because uh, what I think is, as somebody who's trying to come up with his own brand, it will be delusional to kind of think that all your fragrances are going to be universally appealing. Um, I mean, we all listen to different types of music preferences there, different types of food. We have our preferences there as well. So it's kind of delusional to think that a fragrance sense of smell is going to be universal. So it was hard for me to see that perfumer go in public and attack that person because um, it seemed like she expected everybody to like her fragrances. So it kind of turned me off of the brand there and I never reviewed anything from the from the house, even though I had a lot of fragrances from that house. Now, fast forward, going back to the story here, I received the message. So when I saw the message, I was like, shit, I didn't have anything <laughs> positive to say about the brand here. What is she going to say? She's going to go after me. And I opened the message and then pleasantly surprised, she said, thank you for doing the overview. I appreciate the honesty. I was like kind of still skeptical there. And I was like, okay, is that really it? And then we ended up talking about random stuff and then the event accents where she was at at the moment. And then at the end, she asked me, I know that um, my fragrances are not your style, but uh, if you were to pick one, which one will it be? And I was like, oh, this is easy because in my overview video, I said uh, Tobacco Dynasty is something that is much more wearable than Tobacco Bunny. But at that point, I didn't want to sell my Tobacco Bunny and then get that. So uh, it would be an honor if I can get that one. And she's like, yeah, I will send that to you. And then lo and behold, she sent it to me along with the uh, like a sample set with the other two that I couldn't review. So I'm going to be doing the review on those two as well. But what is refreshing about that story is that 
um based on my taste and what i said in that overview video it like it's pretty much cornered in the type of way that i can do a review on anything that she sends me and it's not going to be anything that is overly positive because it's not my taste the only thing that she's gaining from it is exposure and being aware of that it was kind of refreshing that she sent a full bottle and then a sample pack just like that i've seen a perfumer say easily on forums that why would i send you my fragrances if you're not a fan of it and then i can understand that is a valid uh, assumption there but because i mean why would you send a fragrance to somebody if they blatantly say that they don't like it they don't have anything to say about it it's just by affinity you're going to send it to somebody that loves your product so it was kind of baffling and refreshing that she gave away a full bottle without expecting much besides just brand exposure there i think that's interesting and i want to kind of thank her and then uh, recognize how interesting and then i was kind of baffled by the way that it, it went down i expected something bad to happen but nothing negative came out of the discussion that i had with her uh it shows that she's a really good person for some people this might not seem like an interesting story but for me contrasting again seeing a brand owner going after somebody in public like that it is refreshing to see that we have brand owners or perfumers that are level-headed and then can take criticism or at least not go to the extent of chasing people down and try to force them to uh, perceive the fragrance how they think it should be perceived like so i don't know what your take is on this type of topic but let me know if you had an experience like that or what you think of the whole situation uh if you're a brand owner it'd be interesting to see how you deal with criticism uh somebody that is trying to come up with this brand i know it is obvious to me that my uh creations are not going to be liked by everybody but then for people that are going to enjoy it i'm going to be thankful for that now we're going to do a quick unboxing on what she sent over and i want to take this opportunity to thank her for sending something over and not expecting much especially after seeing my video there this is a sample pack there are five in it you have the note breakdown there and then um these are like 7.5 or 10 ml there um in size a lot there so i'm going to be doing two main giveaways when i'm done doing the two other uh overview or reviews on the two other fragrances that i didn't get the chance to do on the first um sample set that i got from javoy i'm going to do a giveaway on this one the first giveaway today is going to be from the sample set that i got uh, bought from javoy and i'm going to add some zerge of samples and add a sample i have a lot of samples i'm going to just add a bunch of them and i'm going to um, give that away in this video here so just comment and let me know um if you had a similar experience as me both negative or positive and then let me know what you think of that overall uh topic so um the full bottle that she sent away comes in this box white box here i don't know if you can see it on the white background and then at the back you have the story a narrative with the note breakdown um and at the top you have nr noble royale and then inside that you have this big box here the logo name of the fragrance at the back again note breakdown uh, more information and then you have this little detail at the bottom that is keeping the box sealed so let's open this one up this is the box it comes in at the front you have the logo and name of the fragrance tobacco dynasty and at the back you have a um, note breakdown and then you open it this way, I believe. Okay, this is interesting. I don't see much. Oh, oh wow, oh, I almost dropped that. Okay, so you have a cutout in there and there's a pouch in there with the logo on it. They're doing a fantastic job with their presentation here. Um, again, in line with what the brand image is like, noble, royal. And then this is the bottle presentation right there. what a cap pretty cool looks nice so this one i find interesting i'm going to be doing a full review on that like i said in the overview video before and uh you can decide if it's something that you want to 
try or not now finally into the giveaway this is not brand sponsored like i said i did not expect her to send these to me especially after seeing my overview video there so this is just my way of paying it forward and acknowledging that her generosity is resonating with me so we're going to do two separate giveaways so in today's giveaway is going to be the sample pack that i bought from javor paris who was missing two of the five out of the house so i'm going to supplement that with a bunch of samples so all you have to do is share if you had a similar experience bad or or good um, it, what you think of the idea of, of being able to share your honest opinion without feeling like somebody's looking uh, behind you or over your shoulder there so the topic in general and then the second giveaway is going to be from the sample pack here after I sampled the two that I couldn't sample the first time again thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe and then share your thoughts thank you bye